I've said before that one of the most overlooked areas of computer security is the BIOS, or more accurately these days, the UEFI system. It's the first code to run whenever your computer boots, and if that system can be compromised, then almost every other security component becomes irrelevant. It doesn't really matter whether you're using encryption, it doesn't matter whether you're using CubesOS, OpenBSD, or any other secure operating system, and the snake oil solutions like VPNs and antivirus definitely don't matter if your BIOS is compromised. The only fix at that point is resetting or even reflashing the BIOS firmware, which can be much more complicated than what most people are willing to go through. And hell, most people don't even keep their system's firmware up to date in the first place, which is why exploits against these systems will cause damages for years after they've been discovered and patched by the manufacturer. The latest UEFI vulnerability is tracked as CVE-2024-0762, or better yet, its nickname, UEFI Can I Has Buffer Overflow, which, as the name implies, is caused by a buffer overflow bug specifically in the TPM module for Phoenix Secure Core UEFI firmware that can lead to local malicious code execution on the system as well as privilege escalations. Now there's a couple of things about this vulnerability that I find really interesting and also a little alarming from an information security standpoint. The interesting bit is that this vulnerability was first discovered by Ellipsium's Automata system. This is a machine learning binary analysis tool that analyzes new binaries and other aspects of the customer's environment for malware and vulnerabilities. Automata was able to identify the vulnerability on a Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon 7th generation and a Lenovo X1 Yoga 4th generation. Both machines had the latest Lenovo BIOS supplied at the time when the vulnerability was discovered. This automated tool is really good at identifying UEFI malware. It's been able to identify nearly a dozen strains of this kind of malware over the years, even including ones that can be delivered remotely through conventional phishing attacks. Imagine clicking on a Nigerian Prince email by mistake, and the next thing you know, a hacker owns your machine to the point that a system reset or an operating system reset still doesn't remove their persistence. Eclipsium's Automata could be a very useful tool to large networks for keeping their infrastructure secure since it's an automated system that can scan areas that normally don't get scanned. But like similar security applications, it's a proprietary tool, so you'll have to decide whether or not the pros outweigh the cons. Now, the really scary thing about these UEFI vulnerabilities is the range of devices that they impact. The two Lenovo laptops that Automata found the vulnerability on were different models and several generations apart, but this isn't just limited to those two Lenovo models. PC vendors rarely write their own firmware, they usually outsource that to companies like Phoenix Technologies, and Phoenix has said that multiple versions of its secure core firmware are vulnerable that run on multiple Intel processor generations, including KB Lake, Alder Lake, Coffee Lake, Jasper Lake, and pretty much every other Lake codenamed Intel processor. So there's a good chance that millions of PCs are affected by this bug. And like I said, almost nobody does BIOS updates. So they'll likely remain vulnerable for years to come. Now, since this bug requires local access to a PC to exploit, basically meaning that a malicious hacker would need to physically get access to your computer in order to do it, it might make you think that this kind of vulnerability isn't such a big deal. But it really depends. You know, the thing about these sophisticated supply chain attacks is that they're often carried out by state-backed threat actors 
And those state back threat actors are some of the most likely ones to be able to get physical access to your devices. It's actually very common when crossing country borders for the border patrol of the country that you're entering to, to inspect your electronic devices. During this time, a border agent could hand the computer over to someone else who installs the UEFI backdoor, or they might even be trained to install it themselves, which would allow the government to monitor your computer's activities while you're in the country and even after you leave, really, for as long as you're using the device or as long as you don't recognize that it's compromised and reflash it or take whatever other appropriate measures to remove the malware. So this would allow the government to track everything that you're doing and it would circumvent any security applications that are running at the operating system level or higher. There's also a chance for government agencies to make sure that devices sold in the country come pre-backdoored, which would be effective for surveilling 99% of the population that are using them, since again, nobody updates their BIOS. And of course, there's the opportunity for the classic evil maid attack to install this kind of malware. This is where somebody might infect your computer when it's not under your direct control, like when it gets left in your hotel room while you're away sightseeing and an evil maid then infects the device. Now for this specific kind of bug, there are firmware updates available for Lenovo products in order to patch them. So you should absolutely join the 1% of people who actually do install firmware updates for their devices to become secure again. Now, as far as how to prevent this kind of attack goes, keeping custody of your device is obviously the ideal prevention mechanism but in the case of border checkpoints or other situations where you have to let go of your laptop putting in measures to identify tampering before you do any kind of important work on the device and if you do suspect that the device has been tampered reinstalling known good firmware before you do anything would be the best bet to fight against zero-day UEFI vulnerabilities. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but that's always been the case for maintaining your digital privacy in a cyberpunk dystopia. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it to hack the algorithm, and check out my online store, Based.Win, where you can get awesome merch like the Come and Find a t-shirt, the Tie-Dye Tour tee, or the Little Damon t-shirt as well as accessories for your phone or laptop. 10% store-wide discount at checkout whenever you pay in Monero XMR. Have a great rest of your day.